بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We were speaking about generosity and self-sacrifice, and the two it goes together. And we've said that on how many occasions did we give our last to help someone we care about, or sometimes someone we most probably don't care a lot about. So this form, this action is a form of high form of Iman, high form of belief, as we would find it as explained by Imam Ali in Ghurar al-Hikam, where he says, Al-Ithar a'la al-makarim, that self-sacrifice is the highest form of virtues. You might even, you know, be very generous by always giving whatever, but there is a form where you put yourself in difficulty, where you inconvenience yourself to help somebody else. This is a higher form of faith, a higher form of consciousness. This is light and this is beautiful and sublime. We May we all be of those who, uh, who develop ithar and who become like our, and at least follow our masters like Ahlul Bayt Salamullah Alayhim as we've mentioned about the incident of where they gave, where they, where they sacrificed their iftar to give to uh, a poor person, an orphan, and a captive and the other incident where Hazrat Zahra Salamullah Alayha she prepared food and they had a and they had a guest who was hungry and they offered the food to the guest and then Hazrat Amir asked Hazrat Zahra to switch off the lamps so that he don't see their situation though they and they had to go to bed hungry that evening as long as the guest was was attended to and the utmost generosity was was given to that particular guest this is ithar this is self-sacrifice ahlul bayt salamullah alayhim they did not only preach they lived they lived generosity they lived self-sacrifice and we inshallah don't even need to mention where Hazrat Amir Imam Ali salamullah alayhi where he slept in the bed of the Holy Prophet on the night of Hijrah where he offered himself and there is a holy ayah to that effect as well praising Ahlul Bayt Salamullah Alayhim that this is the family we need to imitate and emulate this is the family we need to follow in their footsteps and may we all be successful in this regard in following Ahlul Bayt Salamullah Alayhim and implement what their life was in our lives. Let us look at another uh, hadith of Imam Ali Salamullah Alay where he says Al Ithar Simatul Abrar where he says and that is found in the same in the same book Ghurar Al Hikam where he says self sacrifice is one of the signs of of those abrar, those people who do righteous deeds, the salihin, the mu'mineen. If you want to know whether he is righteous, whether he is salih, whether he has iman, look at his ability when he implement al-ithar in his own life, wherever it is presented, the opportunity. May we all be like those whom Allah has praised and inshallah they are completely at a higher level at a sublime level and may we follow them inshallah like 
Ahlul Bayt, Salamullah Alayhi. May we follow and and emulate the example. Let us look at another hadith of Imam Ali where he says self-sacrifice is the best kindness and the highest rank of belief, which is found again in the same Ghural al hikam This is, we wish you a day where we look at abundance, where we look at somebody else as your brother, regardless of his color, regardless of, of his faith, regardless of his religion, regardless of any attachment, let us look at the other as a human being. And then when he is in need, we will inconvenience ourselves to help somebody else. May we be like those, inshallah. May Allah help us. May Allah make us successful. And may Allah shower His blessings upon us and His rahmah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.